Hey guys, Dark with Cyclone FPV. I am getting ready to do a really quick video on something new that we're carrying here at the shop, but I forgot my coffee, so give me one second, please. It's kind of crazy messy in here as well. Please don't look behind me, because we have had about 20 cases of product come in, getting ready for some uh, school projects and kits. So all in all, there's been kind of a crazy house in here. Um, and we've got our new trailer coming out. I can't wait to introduce you guys to that tomorrow and show you what that's about. Uh, and hey, look, I'm sporting the new uh, the Cyclone FPV shirt. Um, all right. So uh, as it stands now, um, one of the new things that we got in, obviously we're doing a lot of things with um, the, the students and schools around here. We're trying our best to get those integrated. And so with that comes new safety features, new safety products that we can recommend for students when they're building drones. And, and I, I, it applies to my clients too, like you guys. So um, what I've got here right now, and I'll give you an idea of what it is. So uh, let me do a uh, picture in picture here. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. All right, so one of the new things we've got are these... Um, these sets that come with the XT60, which I have now put mine somewhere. I don't know where I put my plug. Oh, here it is. So I've got my plug here, right? And um, and I wonder if I can hook this light up so you guys can see a little bit better. Let me see my little, my little, uh, whatchamacallit. These arms here are going to be worth a darn. I just tried to put this little table together to help me, to give me some uh, room with some helping hands. And one of these things is going to be a flashlight. So I guess that might help. I don't know. Anyways, um, so, uh, yeah, that's right. So anyway, so this is this new little kit that we have. You'll find it online, and I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, can't get comfortable. Sorry, sorry. Too much going on. Uh, but I thought I'd go ahead and put a really quick assembly on it. Now, I've not done one of these before. It looks pretty simple, but I figure we'll knock it out together and see. And then, you know, for something like this, it'd be really easy for you guys, especially students and stuff, who want to put a cap on this uh, on their XT60 plug and are having a hard time finding a place for it. So now with these boards and everything, looks like it's ready to go. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. The way this looks like it's gonna sit is it looks like we're gonna put this pretty much in line like that. We're gonna put the cap uh, positive side down. It should sit pretty flat, just like that. We're gonna solder it here, cut off our remaining uh, line, uh, leads there. Uh, we're gonna solder the XT60 here. And then we're also going to in, uh, get our wiring done as well. Now this is where it looks like it might be a little tricky, so I'm going to try to see the best way, the best method they say to get this done. Not really sure because I don't think. Let me see something. Yeah, I'm not sure that that's going to work that way, but uh, we'll see. I'm not. I really don't know what's going to be the best method for this part, but we're going to give it a shot. And I'm going to try these new uh, little suckers right here. Check that out. Now I'm a super nerd. Right? And holy crap. Okay, but, but when I look here, it means I don't have to get this thing in the way, so this doesn't do whatever, so great. Now I got the nerd glasses, and uh, we should be set, okay? So I'm um, gonna try using these helping hands to hold everything still. That's the other thing is I wanna test this and make sure that these work. Um, and let me make sure that I get a good enough view of this. There we go. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tin. I'm gonna go ahead and tin the, um, the um, capacitor. So let me go ahead and just kind of soak that up here and just want to get that spread across here real quick, real quickly. All right. So there's that. And then we're going to go ahead and use our flux pen and get our stuff right here. I'm just going to do both sides because I like to make sure we've got this covered all the way around. Okay. Flux pen's done. Uh, here's the cap. Put that away. This away. Now, uh, I will be doing the wires too. This is not enough of a wire here uh, for this. So my my guess is that the best way I can think about doing this, because I did think, well, I'll just solder the wire in, right? Pull this uh, back, solder the wire in, and then go ahead and slide this over the wire and slide it down and then solder it some more. Now it does come with a heat shrink uh, protection, right? A little heat shrink cover here. But that's not going to exceed past the XT60 plug. I don't see how that's even possible. So we're still going to need to get some heat shrink to cover the wires and protect them as well, right? So I've got to see the best way that they are wanting to have this done because we do need to make sure that the entire setup is protected. So let me see here. If we were to bring this all the way down, right? Okay, now we can bring it over to about right here. I guess it might cover the whole thing. Yeah, we could probably do it like that. Bring that down and then heat shrink it, right? That's a huge capacitor, by the way. But it's what comes with it, so 
Um, you can always use your own or a smaller one. So I guess this may protect it. Uh, I don't know how much I would trust that, but tell you what, I'm gonna try it with what comes with it first. Now if I can get this sucker out of here. Okay, now to do it this way, um, hold on. All right, there we go. So let's get all this ready. And so we know this is gonna sit pretty much like this and like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and strip these wires down a little bit because I want them to get a little bit more um, uh, grip inside that. So let me just get this down here a little bit. All right, and then let me do the ground the same. And we have this also in the XT30, which I'll do a video on as well. I'm just curious to see what's gonna be the best practice here or what I would be comfortable with, I guess, if I was doing this on my drone. And I wanna make sure that we have nothing exposed, especially if the students are doing this. So let's go ahead, put my nerd glasses on. All right, oh wow, that's really easy to use, except everything, I look like Mr. Magoo now, but let's see what we got. And hopefully I can get used to these. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tin our wire like we normally would. Now, the wire does come already tinned from the manufacturer, but I want to add some of my, my solder to it, especially because we stripped it back some. So that's the, going to be the ground. Let's go ahead and do the same for the positive. Okay. It's going to be pretty good for that one and now what we want to do is we want to get the um, actual XT60 uh, set up too so I'm going to use my helping hands here and see if I don't know if I like these yet but I'm gonna give this a shot and see if this will work all right so the main thing here and let me make sure I'm getting this all right all right so we're gonna drop up. I'm going to where's my piece here so I'm going to go ahead and put the positive in first because of the way this is already angled. So I'm going to kind of just get some solder right up in here, drop it kind of in there, if you can see that. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and just insert this right. Should be able to get, there we go. All right, now it's going to heat up and it's going to harden there and cool off and be set. Okay. And then I'm gonna turn it around. And you don't wanna to put too much solder in there because what'll end up happening is it'll end up spilling over. So just put enough to where you feel comfortable it's gonna hold. And then let me do this other side real quick. Okay, need a little bit more. All right, now let me put the ground in. All right, all right, now, with that part done, let's see what we got. So the next thing will be to get our, um, our board here to stick on there. So uh, because I know I just tested that to see if it'll slide over, and it does, so let's see if we can get that to fit. My only concern would be if you do have too much, if you have excess solder slide over, you may not get this to fit on there properly um, afterwards, so just be careful not to put too much on there. And I don't know if that light is making, I think that light's making it worse actually. Um, so I got a dorky looking light on here. So that may be what I use. Hold on, let's see if I can get this straight. Nerd glasses work, there we go. Oh, that's cool. I don't, I don't know if that's gonna bother y'all. Hmm. Let me see if I can get this to, well, we'll try that. Let's just see how that works, okay? Uh, it is easy for me to use though, so that's a plus. All right, so now that we've got this on there, we're gonna go ahead and solder this. I need a little bit more solder. Okay, let's go ahead and just put some solder around here. Some solder around here. I basically just wanna get a good hold on it, right? I mean, it's already on there pretty good and it's not gonna go anywhere, but let's just make sure that we have, there we go. All right, now, 
after that, the only thing really left to do is going to be to put our cap on there. So let's get the cap. And remember, if you have your capacitor, you look at this, if whatever side has this line here, and usually the positive will be the longer line, but just look at which side has the line marking for the ground, and that's your ground, right? So make sure you put that in properly or else you're gonna have a pretty bad pop uh, when you get done with this. All right, so we're gonna put it like that. Now, the capacitor is longer than the XT60, so it's gonna actually kinda touch the ground. So I'm going to try to use both helping hands, I guess, to keep this still as best as possible, maybe. Mm. You know what, maybe I'll just do it like that and kind of get it to stay. There we go. All right, so my goal here is going to be, I'm just going to bend these out so they, they hold traction there. And I'm going to just get that solder to the board. So here goes. There's one. Let me, let me bend this one. And by bending it, I know I'm pressing it as close as I can to the board, so it's not going to, there won't be any gap. Let me put two. So there's two. All right. Now, with that done, we now have our cap and everything is solid. Okay, and what we can do now is we can come in, we can get our snips and trim the excess here. Okay, now what my concern is is going to be how much this uh, covers uh, the area, right? So let's just go ahead and get on there. Hopefully it does a good enough job. If not, we'll come up with a solution, but I think this may be okay. Let me just kind of get this up to here just kind of like that all right okay now we don't need the help of hands anymore so I'm gonna kind of move those out of the way right there let's get our air done our heat done and I'm just leaving it to the top of the XT60 don't really care about the cap that much but mainly to the top of the XT60 because I do want to protect all this area here. So let me go ahead and get this to shrink down around that. it seems to do okay I mean it's not too bad it's not it's not necessarily the best I can't say that I would do this and not put heat shrinks on the wires themselves um, I definitely would probably go that route so let me show you kind of what I'm looking at what I'm thinking here um, which I think will be a little bit of a and then let me go ahead and turn this on as well so my thought is now to um, get one of these hopefully it's not too late to do this uh, and I think we might be okay if I can get it past this but we'll see if not I can go with a bigger uh, heat shrink and I have a feeling that's what I'm gonna do because this is a little too tight right there so let me just grab a bigger one so we'll take a uh, do a black one here and there's a black one so, I mean, I would probably tell you to have some heat shrink ready because it just, it, it seems to leave too much open, but I don't think this length is going to be too bad. So let me just get the snips wherever I put them. Here they are. I'm going to leave it at that length there. Kind of like that. And we'll put one on here. And hope, like I said, hopefully this clear heat shrink, I can still get this in here. I think if I pull, stretch it a little bit, I might be able to because we want to protect these points and I don't feel like just that does it. So again, please, you don't have to do this part, but I really, well, now I can't see, I'm so used to, I'm already used to having this on my face. All right, so let's see what we got. Guys, if you can hear that noise out there, that is actually the electric company and um, some tree services. They, we had a tornado hit here, uh, right on our street. I mean, at our, in our front yards actually of a lot of the homes here. And so there's a lot of damage. Uh, yesterday so they are now cleaning it we're running on generator here and they're trying to restore power to everybody so hang tight if you can hear the noise apologize all right so let's go ahead now and shrink this down and see and ideally i would have done this before i put the clear on so i could I, i'm sure if i did it in that order i would have even a better uh, better look at the end a better result but i'm going to see where we're at with this
Okay. Now, I do like this better. I think this is a much better option to make sure you add these as well. But I still feel like we have a little bit of it exposed here. So I'm going to go ahead and put some, uh, and I just turned this on, so it's probably not 100% ready yet. But I am going to put some hot glue right in here. And I know it looks messy. Darn it. I have to wait for this thing. To, ooh, it's hot, but it's just not melting yet. I'm going to give it a little bit longer. But in the, oops, but in the meantime, I'll go ahead and um, uh, hit it with the heat gun as well. Get the glue that I did put in there to just kind of start melting and binding here. So what will happen is by doing this, I can already see that it's getting inside there into the, into the components right there onto the pads. And then my goal would be to just sit there while it's still kind of warm and, you know, just kind of push this down and close it off. What's going to end up happening is, and that's exactly what I was going for right here, is this kind of closed sealed look, right? And there you go. So what you end up with is an XT60 with your cap on it. Now, again, this is a huge capacitor. Um, just to grab something comparable, well, I don't have one laying around here, but usually the ones we have, this is a 22. Uh, usually we're using a 1000, this is 2200. So, um, you know, you're talking about half the size usually, or even less, um, but there you go. So this is the end result, guys. And let me just kind of do this here. There we go. Okay, so this is it. Uh, this is going to be the new, and you'll see it on our website, and you'll see a link in the description. Okay, um, fairly inexpensive. Put the cap on here. You don't have to worry about how you're going to attach it to your quad. Um, and uh, we have these in XT30 and XT60s. I'll put the link at the bottom. If you have any questions about this, hit me up. Please make sure to help us by uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel, um, following us on Facebook. And again, if you have questions, just hit me up at Tark at CycloneFPB.com. Uh, other than that, guys, make sure to spend time with the family. God bless. Stay flying. We'll talk to you soon. See you. Bye.